been an interesting road to get to where I am today. Before getting into TV, I was a cleaner, I sold perfume, I did demolition work, I dug holes, I did some acting. I did every job under the sun. Now, I always struggled to find the right fit for me. Then I saw an ad for a TV presenter and I gave it a shot. I got the gig amazingly and then did four years of hard work on community TV. Now we all know it's likely that not many people were watching the show except for my nana. So lots of people were telling me to give up and get a real job. But I didn't give up and eventually I was lucky enough to get an opportunity with Channel 7 working on their travel shows. I think I've travelled to literally every single part of Queensland now, most of it by road. I've done TV stories on beaches, rainforests, parks, pubs, little towns, big cities, you name it. In terms of places to visit, there is no stone unturned. Presenting isn't as easy as some people might think. I was terrified when I first started out. Doing a travel story takes quite a bit of planning and some local knowledge. You have to do your research and get everything organised because it can go pear-shaped very quickly if you're not prepared. Having a vehicle that can go anywhere is a huge plus and the D-Max is it's perfect for what I do. It's got plenty of grunt and is so reliable. And that's really important when I've got a story to do and a deadline to meet. I'm very grateful for the job I have and I find myself incredibly lucky. And now I have a young family, life just keeps getting better. Becoming a dad has reminded me what's most important and that's spending time with the ones you love. I'm really excited about showing the kids all the amazing places in our country and just getting out there amongst it because you cannot beat nature and we have so much of it in this country. No matter where we go or what we do, the D-Max is so comfortable. And I've got to say the top safety rating is a must have for me now. Well, it's got everything our family needs. I honestly pinch myself all the time when I think about the journey I've been on and where I've got to today. Sure, there were times that I had my doubts. In fact, many times, but what I always say is, I know this sounds cliche, follow your dreams and do what you want to do because you would be amazed at what you can achieve.